Sound Sensibility here. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the part two of the perfume oil testing type thing. I'm going to show you guys how to make your own, very own um, perfume spray out of perfume oils. I'm going to go over all the things that you need to have and we're going to create it together. So this particular fragrance comes from Generic Perfumes. Um, it's just one that I've really, really been liking, and it's the Loon Feline, I believe, by a tailor, something, blah, 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 blah. It's a very high-end uh, niche brand. The bottles are absolutely gorgeous. I would actually love to own one, just one in my collection because they put gold flakes in it. But let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the fragrance that we are going to be creating today. If anybody is interested in it. Here, let me put my hand there so you can see the number. This is gorgeous. Oh, I love this one. Okay. And these are the newer style bottles by Generic Perfumes. So you need a fragrance of your choice. Could be anything you want from this company or from any of the companies that I recommended in my massive perfume oil collection. Guys, I didn't spend five grand just to throw my money down the drain. So think about it. If I'm investing almost five grand into perfume oils, they have to be good. Uh, they're just that good. Okay, so then you need to have you a lovely two ounce bottle. You can either store your perfume in here or you can buy smaller bottles to store them in and just keep one of these around for mixing purposes. But if you're going to do that, you need to make sure that you rinse it out every time you create your concoction and dump it into an actual bottle that you prefer to keep it in. Uh, just so that the previous fragrance doesn't mix with your new one. So here's a lovely two ounce amber color bottle. It's my name. I love brown. I'm a neutral person. It's kind of maybe why I love vanilla so much. It's just in that spectrum. So you're going to need a two ounce bottle because there's several ways you can formulate this. You'll need a little funnel, preferably a perfume funnel, um, which you can get those really, really cheap off of eBay. And then the last, oh, you need some vegetable glycerin. I purchased a very large, rather large jug of vegetable glycerin. Mine is kosher and organic. And it's just the process that they go through when they create this. The They have to meet higher standards. They have to keep the facility much, much cleaner. And in my opinion, these are the best products to go with because there's not going to be any potential of um, bacteria or any kind of weird stuff in there. And it's really not that expensive for kosher, organic vegetable glycerin. You can also pick it up at Walmart if, it, if you know, that isn't a problem for you and you just want some regular vegetable glycerin, you can pick it up at Walmart. And then the last thing you need is just another lovely syringy type thing. Um, these that I have here, they can't poke you. So, if your kid gets a hold of it, you have nothing to worry about. They actually cannot go into the skin because they're not meant to do that. You can pick these up at your local Rule King. You can get a pack of these off of um, eBay. They come in a variety of sizes. So, if you're one of those people where you want to do exact measures, then there is 3ml, 5ml, 10ml, and they even have smaller ones. I'm using just a 3ml today because I really don't need anything bigger. I'm going to create my concoction in this lovely plastic tote here because alcohol will eat through surfaces. So it's better just to put it in something and call it a day. I'm going to try and bring this down the best I can. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the alcohol and explain the difference between the two alcohols. Now, there is two types of alcohol. There's one that's called perfumer's alcohol, and then there's just the good old one you get from the liquor store. And this is the highest grade of alcohol they sell in the liquor store. Um, and it needs to be a grain alcohol that's 95%. 
You can't use anything that's 94, 96, none of that. No rubbing alcohol, nothing. It has to be this type um, because it helps the alcohol, the oil, and the fragrance all mix together into this clear liquid. If you use anything above or below, it's not going to mix. It's almost going to be like the oil vinegar type thing where the oil sits on top, the vinegar is down below. They'll never mix together and essentially you're going to waste your product. So, got my two ounce bottle right here. Take the cap off. We're going to set it in my little plastic thing here. Let me see how far I need to sit this back so you guys can see it. Okay, there we go. Two ounce bottle. When you make your perfume oil, it's always best to start with the next straight and bump it up to a parfum. If that seems too strong, then you would go back and top this bottle. That's why I recommend a two ounce bottle because the most you will get out of a 5ml perfume oil is two ounces and that is usually if it's beast mode and uh, you're wanting to kind of soften it down some. Some people prefer extraits. So an extrait is going to be a one ounce. So it's going to be half of this bottle. If you wanted it to be an eau de parfum, it's going to be 75% of the bottle. And if you have a beast mode fragrance that's super, super strong and you're not liking it that strong, you would bump it up to about the neck right here for two ounces. So that's another perk to perfume oils. You can create this strength, this fragrance that's created in the commercial um, to your liking. You can't do that with commercial fragrances. How they come is how they come. So we're going to go ahead and this is the quick way where there's no math required. It's easy. But you need to do it in the order that I'm doing it in so that way you don't mess it up. So we're going to go ahead and pop the roller ball off of there. Mm, okay. Let me get a tissue so I can set it down. So just set your roller down and dump your fragrance in there. Do, 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 do. Okay. I lost a little bit of it. Oh, now. Then you're going to take, you can take a shot glass. Let me do that. Actually, I know I have one here. Uh, where'd they go? Where did my shot glasses go? Yeah, I don't know where it went. So we're going to pour a little bit in this cap. You don't need much. Don't fill it full. Just a little bit. Serious, are you watching mommy? And again, be careful because alcohol will eat through your stuff. So we're gonna take our little syringe here and we're gonna suck some of the alcohol out in here. Okay, it's just a little bit, you can see. And we're gonna squirt this into our bottle. It's important to get all of the fragrance oil out of there. So we're already mixing the uh, alcohol with some of the perfume oil already. So I've shaken it, tap, dump it into your bottle. Now your bottle has been completely cleaned of its fragrance oil and you've gotten the max that you can get of your fragrance. Pop your, uh, put your roller ball back on there. And do like that. Now you want to keep this because you can use this label on your own bottle to let you know. So the next step is going to be adding about 10 drops of the vegetable glycerin. You don't really have to sit there and count. You're just going to give your thing a squeeze. And it should be no more than half. I don't know if you guys can see where the level is. See how, and this stuff's thick. This is your bonding agent. You have to have it in there. It's the thing that makes the alcohol stick to the fragrance or the fragrance stick to the alcohol. That way when you spray it, your alcohol disperses and you're left with your fragrance. So there we go. We got about a half of a syringe squirted in there. Now, since I'm making a generic perfume spray, 
it does not have the skin safe agent in there so i have to add the bonding agent precious pearls and the perfume people add in an organic skin safe agent that is totally safe for you that is a bonding agent so if you order from those two companies you can skip this step so here we go guys we actually already kind of have because i put alcohol in there it's already kind of created there but you can see it's kind of milky it's thick i don't even know what you call that so the next step is to put your funnel in there and you're going to fill your bottle halfway stop at the halfway marker it doesn't matter if the perfume oil is down there don't add half on top of what you already have you just want to fill it halfway right there and that's going to be an straight. so get your funnel and you want to pour it slow Ooh. let's see if we made it to my halfway marker it's okay if you're a little over or under it's not going to hurt anything it's just yeah so i'm gonna set my funnel there there is an extract so this is going to be powerful i'm actually going to leave this one in the extract i'm going to put my cap on there and i'm going to shake it you want to shake it there you go now it's all mixed together and your liquid is clear if you were using the wrong concentrate of alcohol, it's not going to come out clear like this. It should almost look like a water. That's why it's important. You can get the Everclear or they've got a Club something, Club 190, um, at your liquor store. Don't feel bad walking in there even if you don't drink and you're getting the strongest one. Because they have doctors and dentists that come in there all the time that purchase the um this high concentrate alcohol when their sterilization equipment goes down so yeah if it's safe to clean your stuff with at the dentist's office and the doctor's office you know it's safe to be on your skin again it needs to be 190 proof or 95 percent alcohol so dee -dee 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 -dee. okay so there isn't an extract now I have the choice from here if I can uh, I could dump this into a one ounce bottle and leave it at that or I can continue to keep using this bottle that's why I said if you want to just have one of these as your mixing bottle you want to make sure you clean it every time with hot water several times shake it it will come out it don't take much but wash it a couple times you don't need so just put some hot water in there and wash it out so extract is going to be half of this bottle now i'm going to bump this up to an eau de parfum so that means i'm going to fill it to about 75 percent probably about right there so we're going to add more alcohol what it's going to do is it's going to actually take this from an extract to an eau de parfum because an extract is extremely strong as you could see, it's almost like 50% fragrance and 50% alcohol. So now we're going to bump it up where it's um, uh, it's 25% fragrance and it's 50% alcohol, which is usually what we buy it in. I'm going to smell it first and see what it smells like, which is always the ticker here. Smell your fragrance. I actually like it in the extreme. So what I usually do is, in this case, um, a Lune Feline doesn't smell like a beast mode fragrance, so I definitely don't need to dilute it down to a two ounce bottle. Um, I would let this sit for two weeks. That is allowing the alcohol, the bonding agent, and the fragrance to all fuse together. And I'm going to check it in two weeks. I'm going to then spray a little on myself and see if the projection and the strength is too much. If it ends up being, then I'm going to move it up to 75% of the bottle by adding in more alcohol. This is your dilutant right here. 
this dilutes your fragrance down. Again, you're going to be careful. You could use your little syringe and squirt it in there, but it's very time consuming. So that's why I like to use the perfume funnel, but sometimes it likes to hold the alcohol in there. So that's why I said, um, do it slowly. So in two weeks, when I come back, if this just seems like it's just way too strong beast mode, I'm going to bump it up to an eau de parfum, which is 75% of this bottle. I will then go back, let it sit for two weeks, because now the new alcohol has to infuse with the existing, what's already there. I will test it in two weeks, and if that sucker still seems very, very strong to me after spraying like a little bit on myself and testing it for the day, that is when I would fill it up to the neck. But that's only for strong fragrances. If you have a fragrance that's moderate, you're going to either make it in an extract or an eau de parfum. You would never fill it up to the brim. That is only for beast mode fragrances. If you have a fragrance that is created by the commercial company that is light, you would want to make it in an extract form so you can get it to be a little bit stronger. But that's, that's how easy it is, guys, to make yourself a perfume spray from the perfume oils. It's that easy. Um, it really is based on your preference. If this strength is good for you, leave it alone. If it's too much, bump it up. Come back, check it in two weeks. If it's still too much, bump it up. If it's a moderate fragrance and you fill it up to here, you have now turned it into an eau de toilet. And you don't want to do that because then it affects the uh, longevity of your fragrance. It doesn't really affect the projection. It affects the longevity, how long it'll be lasting. So there you have it, guys. Long awaited video that everybody has been asking for. And I wanted to make sure I do it again. And, of course, I didn't have a bunch of repetitiveness in it. So, if you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you stumbled on this video on how to make a perfume oil into a perfume spray, um, I highly recommend subscribing to my channel if you're into this kind of thing. I have reviews on all of my perfume oils. I have displayed, I've done a video on my massive perfume oil collection. On that video, there is the list of all the companies that I highly recommend, what sizes they sell, and of course, if you're watching my other videos, there's only two of those companies that add the skin agents, so you only have to add two products to those, which is the alcohol and the fragrance. You get to skip this step, but you'll be adding in more of the fragrance because it'll come in a larger volume to compensate for it so there you have it guys you guys have an awesome day and as always guys happy perfume shopping however you want to shop perfume oils perfume commercialized sprays whatever thanks for watching guys bye